don't feel good to see me very well on the mats, but um, we'll work with what we have here. So let's start seated just briefly. Close the eyes, check in with the breath. Allow the shoulders to fall from the ears. Just grounding down into the floor, noticing all those points of contact between you and the floor. That's what I'm gonna read just the first part of this simple ways towards the sacred. The floor. We don't pay attention to the floor unless it is missing, unless it has a spill or an obstruction on it. Mostly we are confident that the floor is present and we merely step upon it. Many things here become floor-like to us. Certain steady relationships, certain habits, certain ongoing expectations. When we are floored by something, the unexpected has happened to us. Our usual experience is interrupted and we land not on habitual ground, but on the firmness of reality. Feeling the floor with our bare feet is a good experience in mindfulness. Every morning we can step out of our beds, out of our night dreams, and stand on an actual floor. This day can be grounded by this act of attentiveness. As we put our feet on the physical floor, we can ponder what might serve as an inner floor for us to stand on that day. What intentions, what activities, what attitudes, over time, we may come to know what ground we rely on. The simple act of connecting the mind to the feet, to the floor, is very steadying. In time, it makes the word floor understood into something lived and vital. So since we have a sh shorter flow today, I invite you to come to standing on the floor or your mat, wherever you are. Root down through the feet. Roll out the feet and the ankles. And then root down through the corners of the feet. Open the arms wide into mountain pose. Take a few moments here to notice the ground beneath you. Notice what you're standing on, what is sacred and real. That the floor and the ground are holding you up. Reach the arms overhead, big inhale. And exhale, let the hands go to heart center. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring the hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, this time we're gonna fold. So we're gonna stay in this forward fold for some time. So nice big bend in the knees. Let the head and the neck be heavy. Reach for opposite elbows. Just hang out in this fold. I'll be here for a few more rounds of breath. Since we're trying to do it off my phone, I'm gonna make sure you can hear me. Hopefully somebody would tell me if you couldn't hear me. Okay, awesome. Always something new with Facebook Live. So bend in the knees, drape the chest over the thighs, find a little sway. We'll be here for about five more rounds of breath. So allow the head to be heavy. Maybe shake it side to side. Check in with your breath. Big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Plant the hands, drop down to the bum. We're gonna find a little bit of core work alternating with our standing work. So we're working into a strong flow. So find your way into boat pose. Reach the hands out, zip the legs together. Pull the belly button into the spine. Melt the shoulders away from the ears. Use your breath. And then we'll cross at the ankles, plant the hands, uncross the ankles, find your way into your fold, deep bend in the knees, 
head and neck are heavy, find a little sway. We'll do a little half sun salutation here with our boats. Inhale, reach, take the arms overhead. Exhale, the hands down to heart. Inhale, reach. This time fold, exhale, fold down. Half wind lift, nice long spine. Drop to the bum, find your boat pose. So getting the core warmed up, getting the legs warmed up. Option here to extend the legs long. If this is already too much, grab for the backs of the legs, hold there. Find your breath. Melt the shoulders, gaze past the toes. Awesome, cross the ankles, roll over, separate the feet, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise up, take it overhead. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, take it back, find your boat. So, last time here on the boat for this. Maybe you want to bring the hands to heart and drop the elbows side to side, your choice. Or stay right where you are. Three more rounds of breath. Awesome, roll at the ankles. This time we're gonna to come to hands and knees. So our peak pose in this practice will be crow. You don't have to get there, but we're gonna definitely warm up for it if you want to. So find your tabletop, shake the hips side to side. Find a couple of circles, just warming up the lower half of the body. And when you're ready, we'll do our cat cows, but option to get the wrist warmed up as well. So turn one set of fingers to the side or maybe back to the knees, just to your degree of comfort. And then find a little bit of your cat cow here, rounding the spine, tucking the chin with one wrist. Getting a little extra love, extra stretch. Breathe into that space that you feel on the forearm. Awesome. Slowly come back to neutral. Switch hands. Come back to your cat cow in the spine. Or maybe find some other movement that feels good. So just one set of fingertips. Reaching back towards the knees. Doesn't matter how far around it comes. I'm not a great demo of some of these things because I have way too much um, hypermobility in my joints. So your aim is not to be as double jointed as my wrist and hands and elbows are. It's actually kind of bad for the stability of the joints. So it's not a good goal. It's just I have to work really hard to not be. Got another round of breath or two. And then return both fingers, both sets of fingertips to the front. Sit back on the feet. So you can either tuck the toes if you want a heel stretch or just sit back on the heels and roll the wrist out. Awesome, we'll come back. We'll do that little modified half sun A with the boat a few more times. So drop to the bum, come back to your boat pose. So we need to get our core nice and warm and strong for our crow. Or if you're not gonna work in a crow later, just for the sake of warming up the core and strengthening those abdominal walls. Awesome, cross at the ankles, roll over, separate the feet. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale, root down, rise up, take it overhead, big inhale, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, reach, exhale, fold, halfway lift, plant the hands, sit it back, maybe you want to slowly sit it back this time, use some strength, some stability, option for next time too. You can take your hands to heart and find your little rows if you'd like. Only one more boat after this. Awesome cross with the ankles. 
Plant the hands, separate the feet, halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale, root down, rise up, take it overhead, hands to heart, exhale, reset, inhale, reach, exhale, fold, halfway lift, plant the booty, maybe you sit it back slowly, 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 find your boat, so maybe you don't need the hands, but if you do, no worries, so on this last boat, I'll give you the option of boats and canoes. So find your way into your boat, drop it down, everything but the heels and the shoulders. Exhale back up to boat. Inhale, canoe. Uh, exhale to boat. Let's do three more. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Keep rolling with your breath. It's very hard to talk for me to do this and talk at the same time. It's hard enough for me to do it to start with. All right, one more. I lost count. Sorry. Awesome. Roll over, find your hands and knees. This time we'll find child's pose. So give the low back a little break. Drop the hips to the heels, walk it forward. Melt the head, melt the chest. Let's find some length in the side body. Activate the fingertips, come up onto the finger pad, and then walk it over to the right, melt it back down. Keep those arms lifted, keep it active. Walk it back through center, keeping everything lifted and active. Walk it over to the left, melt it down. Bring it back through center, melt two rounds of breath. Roll it back up, find your tabletop. So again, pat underneath the knees if you need it. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Get any little movements that you need. And we'll find a little bit more work stabilizing in the core so extend the right leg long try to keep the toes flexed under again i have a lot of mobility in my hips so it's hard for me to point the big toe down but that's what we're aiming for pull the belly button into the spine reach the left arm long we'll find little pulses here just rise five times pulsing the heel and the thumb up and then exhale pull it in and round inhale reach and pulse certainly. Still be breathing here. Next, inhale, reach long. Exhale, pull it in and crunch. Inhale, reach. Find your little pulses. Next, inhale, reach long. Exhale, crunch it in. Two more times. Inhale, reach. Find your pulses. Find your flow. Inhale, reach and long. Exhale, bring it in. Last time. Exhale, crunch. Hold the knee and the elbow in together and breathe. Plant the left hand down, keeping the right knee lifted. Find some circles. Your little fire hydrants. Step it through. Find your low lunge. Option to keep the hands grounded if that's what you prefer. Or if you want to stick with this active flow, reach the arms overhead. Find a little back bend. Melt the shoulders from the ears. Awesome, plant the hands, take it back, half splits. Straighten out the front leg, fold over the front leg a little bit. Flex the toes. Next, inhale, bend back in the knee and rise. One full round of breath in each posture, melt it back. Awesome, last time, inhale, rise. Exhale, melt it back. Option if you want to go a little bit deeper here, take both hands to the outside of the right leg. Walk them so they're kind of framing out your kneecap. Try to keep the hips square and level. Maybe gaze over the right shoulder. Really getting into the hip and the IT band here. 
Awesome, walk it back. Bend back into the front knee. Swing the right knee back to meet the left, shake it out. We'll go through a full vinyasa here, sun salutation, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Find your down dog, walk it out. Settle in, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Hop or step to the front. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Work down, rise up, take it overhead, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, reach this time, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands. Your option, high to low plank, or I take it from the knees. Either way, chest coming straight between the elbows. Take it back, baby cobra, up dog, wherever you are. Take it back. We'll find child before we move to the other side. So melt the hips back. Try to keep the heart rate up, but grab water. Take a breather as needed, of course. It's probably the most powerful class we've done together. So if you need to skip a whole section, take a breather, take child's pose. Or take three of something when we take five, it's all optional. Take a cleansing breath here together, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, round back up to your tabletop. Fingers spread nice and wide. This time the left leg extends back. Keep those toes flexed down. Pull the belly button in, find your stability. Right fingertips lift and reach. The thumb is facing up. Little pulses here. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach, little pulses. Find your breath. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, knee into elbow around. Three more times with your own breath. So just find those little pulses as you extend. And then exhale, knee to elbow, round into yourself. I'm on my last round, but no hurry if you're not. That last time, hold the knee into the elbow. Pull the belly button in, strong and active. And then drop the right hand, keep the left knee lifted. Find your little fire hydrant. Awesome, shake it out. Step the left foot forward, find your little lunge. So bend into that front knee, drop the right front of the hip down, rise up, inhale. Exhale, swing it back, swing the hips back, flex the left toes, half splits. Try to keep those left hips even, inhale, rise. Option to keep the hands grounded the whole time, your choice. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. This last fold, option to walk the hands over to the left. Keep everything in the lower half of the body grounded. So we're walking both hands over on the outside of the left leg. Get a little bit deeper of a twist here. Walk it back through center, bend back into the front knee. This time we'll step the right foot up to meet the left. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Root down, rise up, take it overhead, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, different transition here. Step the left foot back, warrior one. Bend into the front knee, activate the back leg. Hips are starting to square to the front, so warrior one, so the back foot is more to 45. Melt the shoulders. Awesome, open up warrior two. So front heel, back arch in alignment, reach it out. Two more rounds of breath. Make sure the knee is not coming past the ankle. And then turn all 10 toes to face the long edge of the mat. We'll start to wiggle them in just a little, heels in, toes out. Start to drop the center of the body down Arms come into your cactus. 
Try to take, obviously there's a natural curve to the spine, but try not to over exaggerate that curve. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. We'll just do three of these. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Awesome. Stay here in this goddess pose, or if you like Malasana yogi squat, you can heel toe the feet in, drop it down into our yogi squat. Your choice, whatever feels better. Staying in that goddess, activating the quads, or if you want to open the hips more, coming into your Malasana. Find your breath, smile. Short class this morning. Although since I'm broadcasting from my phone, I don't have my phone to keep time, so I'm keeping time in my head. So I wish everyone the best of luck with that on <laughs> how long this class will actually be. Plant the hands, walk the feet back into center. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale, reset. Awesome. This time, right foot steps back. Sink into your warrior one, your Virudasana one. So some yoga teachers use the Sanskrit terms, the ones that end in asana, which just means pose. Some use the English words for them. Some use both. So if you ever hear, I'll try to start sprinkling some of the Sanskrit words in so that if you go to other classes, you know what we're talking about. Open up warrior two. I'm gonna hop to the other way so you can see. Front heel, back arch in alignment. Melt the shoulders down. Legs are nice and active. Awesome. Turn all ten toes to face the long edge of your mat. Walk it back. Find your goddess pose. Set it down. So the knees come wide. Heels out. Reach up long, straighten the legs. Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and hold. Hang out here. Or if you want a little bit more before we go into our squat together, hands to the knees and we'll do a little bit of twisting. So drop the right shoulder down, look over the left shoulder, find your breath. Awesome, come back to center. Left shoulder drops down, look over the right. And one more time each side, inhale, lift long. Know the legs are talking to you. You'll survive. Inhale long, exhale, drop the shoulder. Awesome, rise up, either stay in your goddess, I'm sure your legs are talking to you, or drop down into your yogi squat. We're gonna work into our crow pose as an option. So, if you want to take a break here, sit on your mat, that is an option. If you have a block or a tall book or a pillow or something you could put your toes on, that is what I would recommend if you wanna work into crow. So, we warmed up the arms, we warmed up the wrist, we pulled the knees towards the elbow, which is what we need to do. We found some nice openness. So, if you wanna to work towards crow, if you're not on a nice padded surface, put a pillow in front of you. That's how I learned at home, just falling into a sofa pillow for a while. So, fingertips spread nice and wide. We're gonna bring the knees towards the armpits, but at least to the triceps. Get really high on the toes. So this is where I like the block. The block elevates the feet several inches, so it's a little easier to get the knees high on the backs of the arms. Drop forward. You don't even have to lift the toes. Just feel that space. Reach long in the neck, and maybe you lift a toe, maybe you lift the other. Play with it for a few rounds of breath. If you can get the knees high on the triceps, it does tend to, when you first start, give you a little bit of a pressure bruise, to be honest, up against the triceps, so just know that now. Sometimes that can kind of be a little sore. But all you have to do is rock forward till you find that balance and rise a toe or two. I say all you have to do, it took me probably a year of trying to get it, so there's a lot, it's a lot going on there. Wherever you are, if you're still playing with crow, keep playing otherwise. We'll reset with a little half sun salutation. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Reach long, take it overhead, big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll stay here, work into the floor a little. So 
Working off our floor meditation this morning, take your arms into mountain, nice and wide. Feet grounded in, melt the shoulders away from the ears, close the eyes. Just notice the heart pumping, the blood flowing. Focus down in on the feet rooted to your mat or the earth, the floor holding you up. Whether you're standing on your hands in crow or standing on your feet, always there to support you. Awesome. We'll do a little bit of balance work. Then we'll work down and cool off. So shake the legs out. I'll mirror you. So root down through the left leg. The right foot comes up into, we'll just start with this little tripod, little kickstand. Think about lifting nice and long, like there's a string from the ceiling lifting you tall, belly button pulls in, or maybe the foot wraps around the calf, or you can bring it up high, your choice, wherever you are. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath. Hopefully I stay upright. Try to gaze out long, melt the shoulders. Awesome, when you're ready, pull this knee into the chest. So I'm mirroring you, you guys are, have your right foot lifted. Option to reach for dancer. So reach for the right toes with the right hand. Some people like to grip the inside of the toes. That doesn't really work for me. That's really the better way to do it, but I like the outside of the toes. I'll hop to the side. Lift the left arm. So again, I'm mirroring you, lift the left arm high and start to reach forward. Maybe you don't even lift the toes very much or maybe you start to kick the hand into the foot. Try not to lock out that standing knee, wherever you are, just work for that for a breath or two. Awesome, shake it out. No rush to meet us back. Just a little half inhale reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Reset, root down through the right foot. Again, mirroring you on this side, reach down through the right foot. Left foot kicks hands, calf, thigh, wherever you wanna be, five rounds of breath, find your tree. Even though now we're only on one foot steady on that floor. Solid underneath you. One more round of breath. And then pull the knee into the chest. Find your little stork pose. Option to work into dancer. So bring the knee, knees parallel again. And then reaching the left foot for the left hand. You can just stay here. This can be your dancer right here. Still just rooted down from one foot. Just a different variation. Or you can start to reach long. So a lot of times people tend to dump over really quick. If you can reach long, keep the chest high, you'll have a little bit better success with the balance. So work for that for another breath or two. Trying to be as gentle in your transitions as you are in the poses. And then shake it out. Awesome, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Your option to take a flow or not, high to low plank or knees down. We'll meet on the belly. Three little baby cobras here, hands by the chest. Peel back, zip the elbows together, and release. Inhale, rise and lift. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, rise. Option to zip the legs together, reach for the hands. We haven't done much on the shoulders, so if they're not feeling warm, skip it. But lengthening out those abdominal muscles we've been strengthening, give them some love. If you wanna reach for full ball, reaching for the ankles, counteracting all those boats, doesn't really work in my knees, so be gentle. Nice energizing pulse. We'll have to cool it down quick. Inhale, rise a little taller. Exhale, release, take everything wide. Let the legs fall heavy. Check in with your breath. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Take it back, find child, or if you wanna find embryo, legs together and drop the head towards the mat.
So starting to turn inward, cool down the body. Big cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Rise up just enough to move to the back. Scooch the bum towards the heels and melt it back. We'll hug the knees into the chest. And then find our happy baby. So take the knees wide. Maybe have a little bit of space here from all of those goddess poses. Reach for the outside blades of the feet. Melt the shoulders down. Close the eyes. Check in with the breath. Melt the tall, tailbone back down towards the earth. Relaxing the shoulders and that space between the eyebrows. One more round of breath. Slowly release the feet. There's any other postures that you need if you need to rock and roll a little or find a twist to each side. Take a few rounds of breath to do that here. Or if you are ready for your Shavasana, it'll be a little bit shorter of a Shavasana today. If you want to go ahead and get in there, allow the legs to fall open wide. Allow the breath to ease. Allow the shoulders to melt. Just taking a moment to check in with how the body feels. The warmth and the movement, the sensation that you are feeling, maybe some openness. Or maybe some strength and surprise if you started to work into crow and felt some success. And if maybe you didn't get the success you wanted, letting that go, knowing it's a practice, it will take time. It'll make the success that much better when it does come. The practice of trying that we are working towards. Take a big cleansing breath together. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, point the toes. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest and rock gently over to one side. Eventually, we'll all come back up into our seat, finalizing. This reading about the floor. So if you want to stay ground on the floor in your Shavasana, that's another option or otherwise finding your comfortable seat. So from Ganilla's book, there is a meditation on the floor. So if you'd like to find this meditation seated, root down through the sits bones, all the way down into the floor, melt the shoulders down, close the eyes. Each time we rise out of bed or out of a chair, the floor is there to meet us. We have a welcoming somewhere to put our feet. Could we feel this to be spiritually true as well? Could we more and more come to trust that there is a ground of being, that we are asked to know where we stand? Could we come to appreciate that the floor is level and that it also levels us? Eternal ground is everyone's ground. Might the soles of our feet become soulful so that we might walk on any floor with both equality and equanimity. She also adds considerations for the heart around the floor. And the way floorboards fit tongue and groove, might I also find a place where I fit exactly and have a special opportunity to be of solid support for others. Always the floor is there, ready to bear. Daily, may I learn to bear up when I am called to the difficult. 
At least once a day could I appreciate the floor that I stand on. Through feeling it might I also feel that greater ground which holds me. Coming back to the breath. Take a cleansing breath together. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, let it go. Connect the knuckles of the thumbs to the sternum. Symbolizing the connection of our body to our breath. And then release the hands out to the floor, grounding ourselves down. Appreciation for that floor and sacred ground always underneath us. It's truly my honor to guide you through your practice, taking a moment to find gratitude for yourself, your practice, your breath, the floor, everything around you, reminding yourself that you are enough just as you are right now. Thank you so much for practicing with me, yogis. Namaste.